off, strip tomahawk chop, and pin his non-throwing hand, you got a good thing cooking. Because if he does clench the ball down, now he's starting to fall, and what's breaking his fall? Nothing. As a defensive coach, I like hitting the quarterback when he falls from a vertical position, smack dab into the ground, I'm on top of him, and he's got nothing to break his fall because I've pinned his arm. That's good stuff, right? There's a chance that that quarterback's gonna get up and he's gonna be a little out of it, right? I like when the opposing quarterback's out of it. He doesn't play quite as well. And if you do it over and over again and you hit the quarterback over and over again, you know what, it has a cumulative effect, just like it did on the running back when we tackled him through the ground. Right? I think that's clean, hard football. I don't think there's anything dirty about that. There's one immovable force on the field, and that's the field. Use it to your advantage as a defense. So as you see, tomahawk chop, wax off, have an awareness of the football. We got to get the ball out. This is all about awareness of the football. Now Coach Jay, what does he do? He puts himself up there, and the guy's got to work a move and flip his hips, and now come off the block and do the same technique. Get that ball out of there, bang. Ball's on the ground. Now, every chance we have to recover a fumble, I think this is a lost art. We want to put, if we're going to scoop and score, very, very simple, guys. Put your knuckles on the ground. That's the number one coaching point. Surround the ball with your feet and get your knuckles on the ground. So how am I going to do that? Obviously, this isn't working right here, is it? I have to surround the ball and I have to bend in the hips, the knees, and the ankles. So I lower myself down like a shortstop, and I put my knuckles on the ground behind the football. And now I scoop the football. I don't squeeze the football, I scoop the football. God forbid I don't get it clean, 